Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about scoring when entering over the right baseline. So I'm going to show you three ways how to do it. Let's go. All right, guys, before we get started, I'd just like to remind you, my online courses are available on Hertzberger TV Premium. Check out the link in the description. If you want to unleash your full potential as a player, there's one online course on elimination and there's one online course on shooting, scoring and positioning. So check it out and maybe there's something for you. All right, so when we enter over the baseline on the right side, obviously we're going to try and look and find a teammate. However, if there's no one free, you have to keep the option of scoring yourself. And there's a, a few different ways that you can score coming in over the right baseline and I'm going to show you three. The first one is you're going to try and beat the goalkeeper in the short angle if they step down. So a goalkeeper is going to be protecting the first post. However, if you want to pass that ball, sometimes goal, goalkeepers tend to step or they use their stick to go down and the shoulder opens up. So that's the first one where you can try and beat. You come in over the right baseline, you're going to fake the pass to one of your teammates and then from here, you're gonna try and beat the goalkeeper above the left shoulder. All right, so the second way that you can beat the goalkeeper coming in over the right baseline is to try and pull inside and to use your reverse sweep. So a reason to do that would be if a goalie comes out and tries and come for the early tackle, then you can come inside left and you can try and finish. Usually if you're running and your defender is trying to chase you here and the other defenders are man marking, then there's usually space around this area. This area tends to always be free. So what you want to try and do is you want to do as if you're going to pass and at the last moment you pull inside and you finish with the reverse. And technically, it's quite hard because you have to be quick with your hands. You have to get the right contact on the side of the stick for the ball to go in. So, for example, you come in this way, you feel the space is open, the goalie comes out, you have to pull the ball nice and wide outside the reach of the goalkeeper. And from here, with two hands, you're gonna try and finish like that. Hi everyone, do you want to copy me and mirror my skills? Check out the Be Like app and compare your skills to mine. Good luck. So just to explain you the hands and the footwork, the most important thing is when you're dribbling you've got your hands apart like this. And you don't need to change too much on your hands. The only thing you need to change is when you lay the ball to the left, if it's far away, you can bring this right hand up because it allows you to get more reach and a bit more power. If the ball is close, you can always go like this and then finish with your hands apart. The second thing is with your footwork, you're running like this, you're placing the ball that way. The step with left needs to be really big to get behind the ball and get the right angle. If your step with left is not big, then for example, you're not going to make the angle and you're going to miss the goal. So your step with your left foot needs to be really big. All right, so the third way that you can beat the goalkeeper coming over the right baseline is when you've beaten your opponent, you can try and move inside and keep the ball in your forehand. So from here, you wanna pull the ball here this way to give yourself an angle. Especially if this area is free and you've beaten your defender, you can cut off their running line. And from here, you have to try and see and respond what the goalkeeper does. And you can either go top right or bottom left if he leaves it open. Obviously, top right is the coolest one but just try and find a little gap, try and find a little hole, and when you pull inside, you push it quickly. All 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. There's three ways how to finish over the baseline. Good luck, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week, bye-bye.